cut your grass, or it may cost you. The South Bend Common Council is considering a bill that would increase fines for people who let their grass and weeds grow too tall. WSBT 22's James Fillmore is at the live desk. And James, doesn't the city already have ordinances that address this problem? It does, Rick, but they're looking at making a change so everything is uniform. If it passes, grass and weeds couldn't be taller than nine inches. It doesn't matter if it's a home, business, or vacant and abandoned property. Plus, the fine would be higher than it currently is. Tracy Hall and her family pride themselves on their well-kept lawn. But then you've got neighbors who don't mow their lawn hardly ever. We've got neighbors that only mow once or twice a year. The way it would work is people would get one warning. If the grass or weeds still aren't taken care of, the property owner could face a $300 fine. The fee could increase for every violation after that. The city might also put people on a continuous enforcement list if violations continue. The maximum fee in that case can go as high as $2,500. We're looking at um, working through the finances, but the whole idea is uh, raising the fines uh, to something that's a little more adequate for, for the city to cover costs. The city's code enforcement department would handle the violations. In 2014, the city documented more than 4,400 violations related to grass and weeds being too tall. We have some lots within the city that are have been 10 years on continuous enforcement. What that means is we're taking our taxpayer dollars in using the parks department to go cut people's grass for 10 years. Hall supports the fine being higher because she thinks grass or weeds taller than nine inches is ridiculous. There's places for um, mice and stuff to hide. Mosquitoes breed in it. Council President Tim Scott says the current fee is $179. He believes increasing the fees will work because he says money motivates everyone. Well, the, the Parks Department cuts the lawns that are in violation, but Scott says because there are so many, they usually only do each property twice a year. The council is looking at a program that would contract that extra work out to a company that mentors at-risk youth. The young people would be hired for the work and learn about lawn care. At the Live Desk, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News.